Hello everyone, happy to see you here on my channel Hi Mathematics and today we have a really interesting question which one is larger on the left side or on the right side? On the left side we have 1.01 to the power 100 and on the right side we have 2. So right now write your some assumption down into the comment section, write your solution down into the comment section, we will check our answers and what do you feel? Maybe you don't like math, what do you feel? Which one is larger on the left side or on the right side? It will be really great and it is a really great test to check our knowledge right here and right now let's, let's try to solve it. There are a lot of students but uh, the worst way to solve this challenge is to raise this 1.01 to the power 100. Just imagine, we have this expression, so we have 1.01 to the power 100. And from school everyone knows that mm, this is equal to a product, so we need to multiply this 1.01 times 1.01 times 1.01 and a lot of this, a lot of this expression, so and the last step is times 1.01. And obviously we have right here, we have 100, 100 expressions. And this is convenient for you to multiply it 100 times, so we have right here 100, 100 times. For me personally, this is a really bad idea to multiply it 100 times, maybe you multiply it right here and a third time right here, so only three steps, but this is really confusing, this is really bad, bad approach. And for those who are interested in math, I want you to look at this, to look at this approach. So take a look closer out here, let's separate, let's split it, this paper by two parts, this is very bad very bad solution, just avoid to raise this to the power 100. Saying in other words, let's rewrite this 1.01, so right here we have 1.01. Uh, we can write it as 1, okay, we can write it as 1 plus, right here 0 0.01 0 .01 can be written as 1 over 100, okay, instead of this decimal expression we can write it as a fraction, so 1 over 100 equal to 0 0.01. One. So I hope you understand this step, but don't forget about this 100 ready here. So this our, looks like substitution, but this is absolutely the same expression, but we're going to use this one. Not this one, but this one. Let's do this right now. So instead of this 1.01, let's write this one. 1 plus, let's do this, 1 plus 1 over 100, and we raise this to the power 100. Okay, this is our this is our expression that we're going to use right now. Okay, right now, let's raise this to the power 100, but let's not like raise, but let's write it, um, let's write this expression, what do we have as a result? We have as a result, let's write it from a new line, from right here. We will have like 1 plus 1 over 100 times 1 plus 1 over 100 times 1 plus 1 over 100, and a lot of these expressions right here, and the last one is 1 plus 1 over 100. Absolutely the same approach but as before, but right now we have a fraction, okay? So right here we will have like 100 of this expression, so we, we need to multiply it 100 times right here. So we have right here 100, 100 times. Okay, really great. So we're gonna, as you can see, we express this expression as a product of a lot of a lot of parentheses. Right now, uh, this is our expression on the left side. We have two on the right side, so right here we have two. So right now let's express these two also as a product, but what a product? This is a really, very tricky moment right now. We can write these two as 200 over 100, okay? 200 over 100. We can easily write it, but it changes nothing for us. When we write this 2 as, as a, this fraction, it changes nothing for us, but when we write this 2 in a tricky way, look at this way right here, so we have 2 equal to, right now, let's write this 2 as 101 over 100, okay? Times 102 times 101, okay? Something like that. Times 103 divided by 102 times, right here we have dot dot dot, a lot of a lot of these expressions, we have in our denominator 199 over 198 times 200 over 199. Okay, we can easily write these two according to this, according to this logic, but take a look closely. 101, we can easily cancel with this 101. 102 can be cancelled with this 102. The same way with 103 can be cancelled with some expression in our denominator, but it will be like 103 because we can see a pattern right here, okay? Numerator, denominator is cancelled with the numerator, numerator is cancelled with the numerator, and as a result, we cancel this 109 with this one and 198 with, with this numerator, which is the previous element. So as a result, 100 right here and 200 right here. When we divide it, we have we have our two. So everything, everything is, everything is great. Right now, let's uh, not like cancel this. Let's rewrite this expression in another way. So let's write this expression 101 over 100 as a parenthesis. So we can easily write it as one plus one over 100. Okay. 
Right now, 102 divided by 101. We can write as 1 plus 1 over 101. We can easily add it. When we add it, we will have absolutely the same expression. So this is our second expression. Our third expression, instead of this 103 over 102, we can write as 1 plus 1 over 102. And dot 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 right here, we have a lot of a lot of these elements right here. As a result, our previous one is 1 plus 1 over 198. And we have the last one, 1 plus 1 over 199. Really great. And right now, the main thing right here, how many elements do we have right here? We start with 100 and we add with, with 200. So as a result right here, we also have like 100, 100 of these all these elements. But the main thing, let's look back what we, what we had before. We have also 100 elements and this is our expression according to our left side. And right now we have expression according to our, to our right side. And let's compare this expression. We have absolutely the same expression in the beginning, 1 plus 1 over 100 and 1 plus 1 over 100. But the next expression is absolutely different. We have 1 plus 1 over 100, so we have absolutely the same expression in this case. In this case, we have not like the same expression. Second expression is absolutely different with this one. But which one is bigger? We need to compare which one is larger. And when we cancel this first expression, we can easily do that because this is absolutely the same thing on, on, both, on both expressions, on both sides. As a result, the second expression is, uh, so the first expression is bigger than this one, because 1 over 101, 1 over 102, when denominator is bigger, then the fraction is smaller. As a result, right here we have all the time smaller denominator, right here we have bigger denominator. So as a result, each of these parentheses, so these parentheses right here, is smaller than this one, than the previous one on the top. The next one is uh, the smaller than this one, than this one, than this on the on the top. Okay, because our denominator right here is is bigger, so our expression on the left side is is greater. Let's write our let's write our answer. We hope you understand this tricky moment. We have a lot of parentheses, 100 parentheses right here and 100 parentheses right here. This parentheses is smaller than this one. And each of these parentheses is also smaller because we have 100 and right here we have 102. Okay, so this fraction is also smaller than this one. So right now let's write our final answer. So 1.01 .01 to the power 100. And we have 2 on the right side. This 2 right here we have this expression is also smaller than this one, which is our left expression on the left side and I was wondering uh, I can I want I um, before recording this video I wanted to check this approach because this is like um, for me it's really interesting to check this expression 1.01 .01 to the power 100 maybe this is like not a greater than 2 okay I was wondering about it and maybe someone interested about it 1.01 .01 is equal to 2.2.7 which is greater greater than 2. So 1.01 .01 to the power 100 equal to 2.7 approximately. Yeah? yeah, so right here we have we have this expression. Maybe someone interested in digits right here. You can also see this on this screen. Yeah, you can also see this on this screen. Very tricky challenge. I hope you understand this approach. I hope you mm, I hope you learned something new. This is our question. Yeah, we express this 1.01 .01 as a fraction, okay, in this way. Okay, which helps us a lot because right now we can easily write it, we can really work with the fraction, okay? But when we work with, with decimal right here, with decimal values, it's really hard to compare with this expression right here. But as you can see, we have absolutely the same type of expression, I would say like that, yeah? We have absolutely the same type. We have 100 expressions right here with the same like pattern, one plus a fraction, one plus a fraction, one plus a fraction. And it's it's really like convenient. It's really great to compare these two these two expressions. So we hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learned something new. It's really great to read your assumption down into the comment section. What do you think about it? Solution right here. It's it's really great to, to see your approach about it. It's really great to see your solution. How do you solve this challenge? This is my approach. Maybe a lot of, a little bit tricky approach, but how that's how it is. I find this um, I find this approach for you, and I want to share with you with this with this solution. So I hope you understand. I hope you understand my explanation. Also, thank you for your support. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for, your, for watching my channel. I really appreciate it. I try to make every videos every day. So it's I really appreciate that you watch my video. I'm really grateful for you for this. Yeah, this is really, really interesting. And I hope you enjoy this type of content. I do my best to make you really interesting, different questions every day. So I hope you will enjoy it. 
So definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, if you need help with any of these classes. I have a lot of them, maybe more than 200 videos on my YouTube channel. I hope you I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learned something new. I want to see your response down into the comment section. What do you think about these challenges? Maybe you want to see another type of uh, math content, maybe maybe like matrix, maybe like integrals, the derivatives. It will be it will be really interesting to read your response into the comment section. So thank you for your time. Have a great day. See you in the next videos and take care.